All right, here we have a 2014 Toyota Camry SE. This is a two owner car, has 145,000 miles on it. Came from California. So, um, really nice little car. These Camrys, you know, Toyota's been making good little cars for forever, basically. Uh, and the Camry is, you know, no exception. It's, it's a really nice car and it, it drives really nice. Um, little four cylinder has plenty of enough get up and go for this light little car. It uh, gets really good fuel mileage. Average is about 31 or 32, I believe. So uh, we'll see that on the dash here in just a second. And uh, yeah, they got a nice little kind of sporty look to it. Um, this one is an automatic. You can get them with uh, a manual if you look for like the Camry S or things of that nature. So, and here we got a nice clean interior. You got power locks, power windows, power mirrors. You got a power seat. Um, up, down, forward, backward. Uh, you got the lumbar support, all of that. So, you got your trunk pop and your uh, stinking fuel cap right there. And we'll, uh, we'll fire this thing up. So this thing runs and drives beautifully. It's got brand new tires on it. Um, fresh oil change, fresh transmission flush. Uh, these Camrys, I believe from 2012 to 2014, uh, had an issue from the factory. The torque converter would lock up and engage too soon. And uh, they ended up developing a transmission shutter. Well, there's a remedy for that. You replace the torque converter and you have it reprogrammed by a shop, and we've done that. So, um, tra transfer case, or uh, sorry, transfer case, transmission has a brand new torque converter, it's been gone through, the PCM's been replaced, and uh, it should be good for the life of the car. So, which is, you know, as long as you're taking care of it, three to 400,000 miles easily. Um, you got your traction control system there. Got a little cubby hole there. There's a wire in there. We'll take that out. Um, this is your steering wheel controls for your radio volume and then menu controls. Here you have your hands free controls for your phone. It does have cruise control. It does have a tilt steering wheel as long as also with telescope. So you got a little clock up there, it tells you what time it is. You've got your radio, it's got um, navigation, backup camera, AM, FM, CD, XM. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because their sun is like right on it, but it's got a nice backup camera. So that's handy. Um, yeah, Heated, heater works great, AC works great, um, blows nice and cool. I've got pretty much all of them on and all the rigs that I'm showing because it is hot over here. It's about 82 degrees outside. You can see this gauge right here on the right shows your uh, fuel economy. And then you can see the average right there, 31 miles per gallon, which is phenomenal. Um, fill it up once and go, go, go. Under there you got a uh, 12 volt, 120 watt outlet along with your auxiliary and your USB inputs. You got two cup holders here. You got another cubby here with another 12 volt, 120 watt. You got a little center console here, which is nice. This does slide back and forth. So, you know, if you want to leave your arm on there, it slides real nicely. You got sunglasses holder. Um, this car does not have a sunroof, as you can see. Headliner is in pretty good shape. Um, yeah, let's go to the back here. So, pretty clean little car uh, for 
145,000 miles on it. It was pretty well taken care of. Um, like I said, two owners spent pretty much its whole life in California. And uh, you can see that seat's back, and I have plenty of room back here. So, um, you know, it's, it's a really comfortable car. It's really a blast to drive, honestly. Um, most little cars are. This one's got plenty of get up and go. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about it lollygagging if you need to pass somebody or, you know, things of that nature. You got a little cubby hole back there. And then uh, leave these seats fold down if you need them to. Let's see, where's that button at? I know they do. I just don't know where the button is. Um, anywho, it might be in the back. I'm sure it probably is actually in the trunk. We'll pop that and you can see it. So, and you can see it's got brand new Iron Man tires on it. So, good, good lip there. Um, plenty of room in the trunk. Uh, you can stuff a lot of groceries there. There's the, the levers there for the seats. So you just pull those. And I'll come around here and show you. Just pull those levers and the seats fold down. Just in case you need to, you know, have that extra room. Uh, we put this seat forward here. I'll show you they fold down all the way. The passenger seat is manual. It is not uh, power. Which, that's, you know, pretty common. But, yeah, the seat folds down, and then you got a bunch more room. If you need it. It's a pretty roomy car as it is. So, a lot of times, you know, that'll probably stay up. Nice, clean door panels. Everything on this car works as it should. Uh, if it didn't, we'd get it fixed, like the transmission. The torque converter issue. So... 2014 Camry. This is not a Camry hybrid. This is just, you know, try to make a generic book for both of them. It's not a hybrid. It's just a, an inline four. With an extra bulb there. So, yeah, we'll uh, go around and we'll pop the hood real quick. And we'll show you that. Um, oh, also, I forgot to look under the trunk here. So, we'll pop that and we'll pop that. And we'll show you this real quick. If you look under here. You got your jack and your tire iron. And then right there, that's your spare tire. Um, it's going to be almost impossible for me to pull all the plastics out with one hand. So, But it is there. It does have a spare tire. It is not a full-size spare. So um, there is that. You do have a heated rear window for when it gets cold. It gets nice and frosty. You don't have to scrape away at the back of it. Just turn on the defrost and away you go. And there it is. Toyota's little four-cylinder. This is a 2.5 inline four. And they're a good little motor. Um, you know, like I say with everything, oil changes are key. Don't believe people when they say you can go, you know, five to 7,000 miles on oil changes. They're wrong. You need to change your oil every 3,000 miles. That is what keeps a vehicle alive. So, but it runs good. It's nice and smooth, and nice and quiet. Makes plenty of power. So, uh, yeah. Good little cars. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get under here, but we're going to try. Oh, yeah. And you can see under there, it is 100% rust-free. So, which you should expect from a California car. Um, yeah, nice little fog lights. This car has a really, really good look to it. Um, the gray looks really good. It looks, you know, kind of sporty uh, without being over the top. So, and it runs and drives like brand new. Uh, that's all I have for you on this one.
come see us up here in Athol, Idaho. Give us give our website a visit www.familymotorco.idaho.com.